Hello everyone, welcome to the Web3 Education Investment. Today in this video, I'm going to share my findings about the evolution and this game. Um, so this game, recently I did some research. So I have some new findings. Now I can understand this game a little bit better than before. Um, so this is a game built by Darwinian uh, and the uh, Darwinia is a parrot channel on the Polkadot ecosystem. One cool thing about this, this game is uh, this game is a cross chain. So if you click get started, you can see different chains and you can play in any chain you want. So that's a unique thing. Like a lot of the games they are on the one chain, right? If if your game is on the Ethereum, then you can only play on Ethereum. But this one, um, because of the the park dot, uh, they utilize that and uh, they do the cross chain, so you can actually play um, on different land. So from the Atlantis and the two other lands, and then they have a gold rush event. Um, so the general idea is, uh, uh, if you already have a land in Atlantis uh, and under the gold rush you have the opportunity that you will you will move your land to a new place for example for example the columbus and so that's a event they have so they will encourage people to get a new land um i i find out um there are a few important things to play this game and so if you open that First of all, the most important thing I realize is uh, it's actually the land. If you notice, like each block, this is just one land, uh, and it's it, this land like uh, it's limited. So th this whole place, there are limited number of land, and um, so I think this is one of the very important resource. Like if you can have a land, um, that would be great. And then after you have the land, there are some other things like uh, um, you should probably connect. There is a apostle. Um, apostle is just like uh, people and uh, who can mine some resource. Um, and uh, and the, you you can sign in with your MetaMask. So I'm going to sign in my MetaMask. Um, so once I sign in. I can see those land and the, and then like uh, um, if you have a land, uh, then you can have the the people apostle the, those people they can mine they can do the mining and mine different kinds of resource they use a tool called the drill, and um, so so now you you have to first get the land and then you have the apostle and then you will get the drill so those are the three important things. Uh, you need to have for this game. Um, so the land, I first of all find out is so difficult to get. Um, so I don't think, think that any land available right now. Um, but with the land, um, people can, if you have a puzzle, you can go and mine the resource. Uh, and uh, sometimes you can also use a drill uh, to get the resource, even though the land is not belonging to to, to yourself so you can mine some resource from other people's place um and uh, and then recently i find out they have a marketplace so it it it, it do uh, it actually took me a while uh, i tried to search that but i cannot find the resource about this marketplace it is actually in the uh, website there's a try v3 so this is the marketplace you can go and uh, if you go to the marketplace you can see that those are the resource like from gold wood water fire and soil those are all the five different resources that you can get um, and then the apostle apostle is uh, like those kind of people you can get it with a ring ring the token um, for the Darwinian network um, so you can use a wing and you can buy buy this apostle. And those apostles, they have uh, different characteristics. And uh, you can see that like they have different mining and uh, HP. So I think that will all um, influence your mining uh, efficiency, right? So if you have a good one, you're going to get more resource and much faster. 
um, and uh, they have some shop. So those are the shop. Like uh, I think in my previous video, I, I I tried to ask like how to get this silver chest. So you can actually buy it here. Um, and then you can do the farming. So as I said, there are different kinds of resource from gold, wood, water, uh, and then you can do the liquidity, uh, the pair staking. So if you have X ring and you also have gold, uh, have the gold and you you, you put them together and the, the APR, APY is quite high actually. So you can earn a lot of uh, uh, actual rewards. Um, so those are the farming. They do have another interesting is uh, governance, and they use this Kton. This is another token that is used for governance, and you can vote. You can vote and uh, and do a lot of other things by land. Absol, okay. So I I don't have any of them. So unfortunately, I cannot demonstrate. But but anyhow, the, those are the governors and the assets is a place like you can you can actually um check your assets your token right now i have i have none i i don't have any so so i have no resource at all i don't have any land so i cannot see anything i don't have any apostles so i cannot see anything i do have drill actually <laughs> so i have three now so the iron one uh if you watch my previous video you know like th those are just uh, the the rewards right i get those two and uh, i would appreciate jesse who who gave me a steel drill drill so now i have a steel drill uh, and uh, who is also very generous allow me to to mine some resource uh, in his land and um, so i do have mined some resource you can see that i'm mining this fire so this is a fire resource i do have a little bit of fire um, i can later on um, uh, claim the resource but right now i i don't need to claim i i will just let it mine and get some more resources resources and uh, and then maybe do some liquidity staking or something like that uh, chest and harvest okay so i don't need to harvest and so i think generally that's that's just uh, the idea of the game like you can play the the i i personally feel like the cool thing would be the cross chain so you can do that uh, in this game and uh, and another thing is uh, all the land they are just like uh, nft so so it's uh, it's unique um so you can in the future you can trade you can you can you can do the mining as well you can get resources um and uh, um, I I need to explore. I have to get some more things, and I I I can explore that. But but generally, um, if you don't have land and the uh, apostle, it's kind of difficult um, to to play this game. I think for now, um, yeah. I, the only thing I can think about is just do the mining and get some more resources and then do staking. Um, I do hope in the future they can um, they can implement some cool features. For example, the the mana like uh, the decentraland. Uh, they have the avatar like people can go inside into the virtual uh, land and you can see each other. Um, or maybe just like Lego, you you can do something together. You can see the people, um, and uh, and make it more like a three D game. Right now, it's more like a two D game. So I think that's uh, one of the cool thing if they can do that. And uh, I also hope in the future they can make some more fun game like uh, um for for example. Um, some other games, they they do have like uh, uh, the fight between different apostle, right? So apostle they have different skill, for example, and then you every day you can do some activity, you can fight against each other and earn some rewards, something like that. I think that would be uh, more interesting and will attract more users to come and uh, play this game. Um, and of course, I understand this is just a beginning. They just start. They just win the parachain on Polkadot. Uh, on Polkadot, so it it, it just uh, yeah, it, it it will just take some time. But uh, if they do implement those kind of a three D metaverse and more fun game, I would be more 
we need to spend more time and uh, play this game. Okay, so that's all about this video. Um, if you don't want to miss any future video, please subscribe and uh, please leave a comment and correct me if I if I say something wrong because uh, I'm still new to this game and those are just my understanding. Um, and uh, if you have any comments, I would be happy to see them. Thanks for watching.